What's up YouTube? Just wanted to do a little video here on a one year review on my 2020 CF Moto 600 C-Force. Um, it's been a great four wheeler. Don't have a lot of complaints about it. Uh, a few things I don't care for and a few things that are really great about it. Um, so far, I've had a couple issues with it. When I first got the machine, um, the dealer actually that I bought it from, as soon as I bought the machine and was loading it on the trailer, I said, well, I guess I'll see you as soon as I need some service work. And he said, well, we're actually moving three hours away next week. So therefore now the only dealer I have close by is two and a half hours away. So therefore everything that has to be done for it needs to go two and a half hours away to get done, which is kind of aggravating. But you know, if you're not too concerned about dealer support, then it's not a big deal. But CF Moto seems to have a really sparse network of dealers so far. Um, that's one of the issues I've had. The uh, differential lock uh, actually got stuck engaged right after I got it. Uh, that was the only thing I've had done under warranty. Uh, of course, I had to take it down, drop it off, leave it, go back and get it. So 10 hours of driving to get the differential lock fixed, uh, which was under warranty. They covered it, no problem. Um, the other issue I've had with it is the lights, um, which is kind of aggravating because it was one of my favorite features of the whole machine but seems to be the first thing, one of the first things that went bad on it. And I'll show you right now. Currently I have 265 miles on it. And it really has been babied. Uh, now the light switch itself is supposed to have a little button, a gray switch on top of here that flew off. And disappeared so now all I have is this little stub here but uh, when you turn the lights on this is all I have now the one eyebrow on the one side uh, they were really great when they worked everything was bright and super nice at night but yeah they started going out little by little one bulb, then another, and then another. Now, I haven't actually delved into this problem and found out what is causing it. I don't know if it's a connector issue or if it's actually bulbs going out or what's happening. The fuses are all good, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that, but uh, I plan on getting them fixed up here soon, but hopefully it won't cost anything. I'm hoping it's just maybe dirt or something in there. Now I don't mud this thing. I've never had it in anything deeper than the floorboards. It's been through several creeks and stuff, but not not any mudding or anything like that. It's been dirty, but that's it. Um, the winch works really great. Haven't had any issues with that. Uh, as far as the tires go, the, the tires that come on it are really good. I have no issues with those. They seem to have really good traction. No... Uh, no problems with punctures or anything. They seem to be really good. I am missing a center cap back here. This came off, which it should be like that. But that popped off and disappeared. Um, as far as the features go on the machine, it's really, really well featured out. I have no issues with anything on there. Don't need for anything that I do. I don't do a lot of riding on the machine, just here and there. Oddly enough, my rear lights still work. They haven't stopped yet. Uh, even the backup lights still work. Uh, it comes with a trailer hitch, which is very handy. I use that quite often. We pull a small trailer around with firewood and stuff. Um, seems to be very fuel efficient. It's very strong, has plenty of power. I will say that the clutch that comes in these really does not does not very uh, do very well um, I'm looking at getting the uh, the clutch kit that was installed on uh, Blake Stalin's 
over at Real Talk Power Sports. I want to get the same clutch kit he's got put in this. Uh, that'll be coming up soon. And a big shout out to Blake over at Real Talk Power Sports. Uh, awesome channel. A lot of great information. Really helped me out a lot with this thing. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's been a great four wheeler. Uh, I can't complain. I've owned all the other major brands and I was looking at getting a Yamaha when I bought this but for the money I just couldn't pass it up and I'll tell you what I have been thoroughly happy with it uh, I actually had a Honda Rincon 650 that I sold out to get this and uh, I'm much happier with this the ride on it is very very smooth the suspension is very good I uh, love the seating position it feels more like a street bike when you're riding it. It's almost like a crotch rocket positioning when you're sitting on it, more, less than a four-wheeler type. But uh, it's definitely a great machine. It's held up so far. Haven't had any serious mechanical issues. It runs and starts great. I will say that the batteries that come in them are not very good. At least this one wasn't. It died uh, within, I don't know, six, eight months. It was getting to be where it had to be charged and jumped every time I used it and uh, I keep it on a maintainer in the shop all the time so that was kind of a surprise to me being on a maintainer that it still went out that quickly uh, just replaced the battery uh, it was 150 bucks for a new battery but hopefully this one will hold up and stay together and won't have any issues but other than that been a really good machine a year later 265 miles and I'm still loving it like I said just wishing the lights would would stay on and not do that but uh, we'll get that fixed up I hope soon enough and she'll be back good but other than that everything's been real good in a year and no complaints from me if you're looking at a CF moto definitely look hard because they are worth the money and I like it so far I don't have any complaints to really say and uh, I think everybody should own one if you're looking for a full wheeler all right well I guess that's it enough talking see y'all later